So these are the ingredients that we need. So I've got 10 lovely lamb tongues. I've got a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of thyme, one heaped teaspoon of turmeric, and one heaped teaspoon of pepper. I've got about three large bay leaves, two cloves of garlic, and I've got two, but I'm gonna actually upgrade it to three medium-sized onions that I will peel and quarter, and that's all you need to make this super authentic, delicious dish. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the tongues over and give them a good thorough wash in cold water. Gonna fill this with hot water although here in the kitchen where I film my video we have this snazzy tap which does instantly hot water I believe yeah but do what you need to do use the kettle so that is nice and almost full and the reason for this is because we're going to make a lovely broth to go with it so we want to spend as much time you know developing those flavors instead of keep adding water later in the day and you know it does take a lot of water to cook these tongues nice softly and slowly so they're very succulent so i'm going to take this back to my hob now and put that on the heat So these have been on a slow simmer for about four hours, four and a half hours, and they're now ready. And how I know that they're cooked is the water has firstly reduced a lot. Initially, remember, it was all the way basically up here, and now it's down here. And the tongues are so soft, when I put a fork into it, it just goes through without hesitation. So they are absolutely whoop, cooked. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put them in a bowl and heat up some sangak to accompany it. And on average, I would say a person would have, you know, two or three with a nice serving of the broth. The onions are also really nice, so you can have them with it. Just avoid the bay leaf and uh, garlic cloves. So there is your lamb tongue. I also recommend now just going in with a nice squeeze of lemon juice. serving with some sangak to mop up the sauce and to, I really love to put the tongue in here, wrap it up and have like the best sandwich ever. So I'm now gonna show you how you actually eat a lamb's tongue because it does of course have this, um, you know, scaly skin on it. So that is the tongue, the tip of the tongue here. And this, the underneath of this is the most juicy bit. I love this bit. And I know that it looks so grim, but I, it's also just so intriguing. Like, I just really love to do this, which is a bit weird. But I'm now gonna show you how you peel the lamb's tongue. You're gonna basically wanna take 
the skin off, which is really easy to do. You just peel it like so. And you don't want to eat this, so this is all waste. And it does come off really easily. So then there it is without any Skin. I'm just going to quickly re-dunk it, which is what I like to do, and then <clears throat> I like to put it straight on my sangak. Maybe add some fresh herbs if you've got any. You could add an onion. Why not? I've got many going. And then you just dig in. So yeah, there you have it. I'm conscious that I look like such a little weirdo, but <laughs> I'm just, just talking to myself. And then, mm, it's so soft, so tender. And it's such a shame that tongue is not more mainstream. Even in Iranian restaurants, I don't think I've ever seen it on a menu. Maybe, you know, color pache, but it's still different. So go to your butcher and give it a go and just enjoy in this delicious meat. Let me know how you get on and as ever, please give this video a like, subscribe to the Persian Kitchen YouTube channel and share this with your friends and family who think it's just interesting, gory or weird or delicious and wanna give it a go themselves. Until next time, take care.